We had the privilege of working with Wilmot Dixon on the National College of High Speed Rail project from a very early stage. The, a project of this calibre um, involved a lot of collaboration between the architect, the principal contractor and our own internal design team. And since we understand the challenges around these, this process, it was aligned perfectly to our business. The challenge that was presented to us was to create a, a world-class uh, facility and, and teaching space. Uh, one of the ways that we did that was, was work heavily uh, with BIM and our collaboration partners. The college is, is one of two buildings, one, one here in Doncaster and the second one in Birmingham. We were contracted to provide the building for a new, en a new entity college, National College for High Speed Rail, who are set to deliver training for the, uh, the, the new high speed rail uh, across the UK. But we had to, to try and understand from the outset exactly what the college required in terms of, in terms of merging, I suppose, traditional um, academic training within a, a traditional classroom facility. The first thing we had to do was um, understand the game plan, how we were going to do the job, how we were going to do the drawings, get the dimensions, get the setting out, get the, make sure the detail works and is agreed. Well, from the earliest stages, our technical resources enabled designers to create 3D photorealistic visualisations. The architects at Bon Brian had clear expectations and we were confident with our product backed by years of engineering expertise. We took all the information available to us from structural information, architects information, other subcontractors information, uh, put it all together into our own um, solid, solid edge models, drawings, um, to achieve the correct setting out and submit for approval. Right now we are in a position where we can actually go out on site, we can do a digital scan on site, we can then uh, transform those files into a 3D model and more visualisation. We can build our balustrades on that model. We can use the electronic files then straight into CNC machines, to laser cutting equipment, to glass processing. Uh, historically on, on projects, uh, some of the decisions that are made at, at pre-construction stage can cause uh, issues uh, during construction stage and that's one of the, the big bonuses that, that I found really working uh, on 3D models at a really early stage is that it highlights certain issues that, that could easily become major issues once uh, on, on site and during the construction stage. I think BIM largely brings, brings next level collaboration. It's something we've been working towards for a number of years in terms of involving all stakeholders as early as possible in the process. And I think BIM opens up the possibilities of that because it, it's just so much more receptive to a larger audience of people right through from the designers to clients to, uh, to, you know, to, to front end construction guys. So we're using the tools that, that BIM provides us with and everybody can contribute to the same design model. So rather than previously traditionally where uh, Perhaps you know, you've got several pockets of, uh, of people providing input to the project, both at design and construction stage. The fact that they're all contributing to the same model uh, just, just makes sure that everything goes together so much smoother. Well, this project involved an awful lot of different people. Um, planning was very critical from a very early stage. The BIM process enabled that and that's why we believe that the future of BIM is bright and that's why at Delta we're embracing it and leading from the front.